Queen Diane Mary was admired by all. She ruled with wisdom and grace. Her reign was prosperous, her kingdom peaceful. Yet a shadow lurked in her heart, a sense of emptiness she couldn't ignore. The weight of the crown, the grandeur of the palace couldn't fill the void within. Something was missing. Her spirit yearned for more. Despite her outward success, Queen Diane Mary felt a profound sense of purposelessness. The riches of her kingdom, the power she held, seemed hollow and meaningless. She craved a deeper meaning, a sense of fulfillment that eluded her. Her heart yearned for a peace that surpassed her earthly possessions. One quiet evening, Queen Diane Mary sought solace in the palace chapel. The stained glass windows bathed the room in a kaleidoscope of colors, creating an ethereal ambience. She knelt before the altar, her heart heavy with unspoken burdens. The weight of her crown felt heavier than usual, the silk of her gown cold against her skin. Closing her eyes, she poured out her heart in prayer. She confessed her emptiness, her longing for something more. Tears streamed down her face, each drop carrying away a bit of her burden. She prayed for guidance, for a sign, for a glimmer of hope to light her way. As she prayed, a profound silence enveloped her. The air grew still, the flickering candles seeming to burn brighter. A sense of peace, unlike anything she had ever known, washed over her. It was a tangible presence, warm and comforting, like a loving embrace. Her worries and anxieties seemed to melt away, replaced by a profound sense of serenity. The weight on her chest lifted, replaced by a lightness she hadn't realized she'd been missing. In that moment, she felt a connection to something far greater than herself. Section four, true source of peace. Queen Diane Mary realized then that true peace wasn't found in her crown or her kingdom. It wasn't in the riches she possessed or the power she wielded. True peace, she discovered, came from a higher source, from God. Her heart, once burdened, felt lighter than it had in years. The emptiness she had felt was replaced with a newfound sense of purpose. She understood that her role as queen was not just about power, but about serving her people with love and compassion, guided by a higher power. Section five reigning with renewed purpose. Leaving the chapel, Queen Diane Mary felt like a new woman. The world seemed brighter, the weight of her responsibilities lighter. She carried herself with a newfound grace, her steps lighter, her smile brighter. The encounter had transformed her. The divine presence she had experienced stayed with her, guiding her every decision and action. She ruled with a renewed sense of purpose, her heart filled with love and compassion for her people. Section six, wisdom and grace. Her reign, once marked by a quiet desperation, was now characterized by wisdom and grace. She listened to her advisors with an open heart and made decisions that benefited her people. Her rule became a testament to the power of faith, a beacon of hope for all who knew her. Queen Diane Mary's story is a reminder that true fulfillment doesn't come from worldly possessions or achievements, it comes from connecting with something greater than ourselves, from finding our purpose in the divine plan.